Hey, what's up fellas? Doing a video for Steve today. He wanted to convert his heat treatment furnaces to a waste oil or a liquid fuel rather than natural gas. So we're doing some testing for him today to determine what type of nozzle configurations are going to best suit him. Let's take a look at what we got here. All right. The radiant tube burner test we're doing for Steve in Oklahoma. He runs a heat treatment plant. Got everything in place. Got us a blower. All of our pumps and ignition systems. And a control panel. Haven't labeled it yet. We'll get to that after we test it out. So let's see what happens here. Okay, here's 250 without any preheat really see it's just a line there I got the preheat on but it ain't warmed up yet okay without preheat these nozzles just will not work right there we go got a little pressure now there we go. Okay, it's warming up. I'm just letting it warm up here a second, hopefully. Don't like that much. Get her to warm up. It'll be good. I don't want to touch it. I want it to warm up. This whole section here is getting red hot now. I can see it. We're getting red hot. I don't know what just happened, but it just fired off. We're at six on the air. Not ready to blow another line, I think. It's a little too much pressure on the fuel system there. I'm afraid of that. Oh, check that out. I can see gas waves moving through there. Oh, the camera ain't picking it up. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I can see gas flow traveling through this pipe, you guys. See that? Going thermonuclear. So it's going to need a bigger nozzle, from what I can tell. We're going to need one of them big old two gallon an hour nozzles. It don't care for this much. All right, guys. So when this thing is set up in a furnace environment, all the way up to here will be in like a red hot environment. So we're going to be running a lot differently in a natural setting. That's kind of unfortunate that um, we didn't have some way of heat in this area the way it would be in real conditions. Nonetheless, we did prove the concept that this particular setup is a viable application for a tube burning system and a heat treat process. The main premise of this was to convert from natural gas to a liquid fuel. Waste oils and things like that. A cheaper fuel stock. Oh, 
All right, Steve-O. So this is all you, man. I think we got this in the bag. Um, the size of the tubes that you guys have looked like eight inches or more, maybe. Maybe not. The picture is kind of, I'm just going off the size of the brick in your foundry. So not sure the exact diameter, but the bigger the diameter, the better this thing's gonna work. We are experiencing some extremely high velocities in this very small tube. This is not an ideal setup at all. But nonetheless, the fact we were able to do this in a three inch diameter pipe tells me we're not gonna have any problems at all doing it in a larger pipe because the flow velocities will be a little bit lower and the flame front velocity of the fuel we're burning is very slow. So that's kind of important. You don't wanna just blow the flame out of the tube. That's kind of uh, one of the situations we gotta deal with. The only reason it isn't doing it 100% here is because of laminar flow and all that. But nonetheless, this equipment with the proper nozzle is gonna fit the bill. This is a 1.5 gallon per hour nozzle, which is way under par. We uh, had to get up to like a thousand PSI's to get this thing to run right. And we ended up blowing an oil line doing that. Uh, stainless steel braided hose. So we're gonna try this test again with a 2.5 B cone 80 degree nozzle probably in the next day or two and I'm also going to be trying it on a four gallon per hour nozzle as well so that we can bring those pressures down a little bit but uh, for the most part I'm pleased with the test. The test apparatus has a couple holes in it here and there but I'm not really worried about that. This thing was just to see a, will the ignition system work? And B, will the thing burn at all? And uh, we pretty much figured that out. So I'm calling it a day. 